Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Word. In this module, I want to talk about how you can create key commands yourself. Now in Microsoft Word, there are hundreds and hundreds of shortcut keys that you can use the keyboard for to activate features. For example, if you do Control D, it will come up with format font and things like that. Now, when you point to some of the items on the ribbon, if they've got a key command allocated, it will tell you what that key command is. So if I point to italic there, it's control I, control U for underline. Now bold has always been control B for years and years, but I'm using Office 365 and now that's changed to control N. Now the reason for that, I am not sure about, but if you wanted to put that back to B, you could do that using the features I'm going to show you later on. So control N used to be new document and is still probably new document in older versions of Word. So how do I allocate my own shortcuts? You need to go up to the any tab on the ribbon, right click and select customize ribbon. We're not actually selecting any options on the ribbon, but it gives you this word options feature now we could have done file and options to get here as well we just need to be on this part of it though customize ribbon because this at the bottom is where the shortcut commands are so you click on customize and then what you've got down the left hand side is things like the file tab the insert tab and then on the right hand side things that you can do in there so for example if we do a simple one on the insert tab there's the insert chart option. If I click on insert chart, at the moment that's saying there is no key command for that. So if I press a key command on the keyboard, so I've just pressed F11 and it's saying it's currently assigned to next field. So that means I can't use that. Let's try something else then. So if I try, get rid of those two. If I try Alt F11, let's see if I can have that. Alt F11. That's also got a key command. So none of those options I can use. So I'll try Alt C. Alt C is unassigned. That means I can have it. So if I click assign to that. Now, if I want a default chart, I can do Alt C, but let's see if that works. If I close this, click OK, and then do that key command, Alt C, there it comes up with the insert chart box, which is great. Cancel that off, get myself back into, well, I'll go the other way actually, File, Options, and then Customize Ribbon, and then the shortcuts down the bottom there. So I'm back into here. So if that was the insert tab, you've also got the other options there. So insert tab, that's what we was just on. If I come down, you've got the home tab there. Now, something that I do use a lot is borders. So all borders. Now, I do know there is a key command for this, but if I just see what's on there. If I try Alt B, unassigned. So I can have Alt B for all borders. So I'm going to assign that Alt B. Now, if you come down this list, there may be some of the things that you want that you can click on. Anything to do with the insert uh, home tab, should I say, and then the insert tab. And if you come down this list, you've got different options there, like layout tab. You've got a line right and line. They've already got key commands. When you click on these, so if I put control R in there, it's saying a line right paragraph. So that's already allocated, which I knew that I knew. So basically every, on the control key, every letter in the alphabet is allocated to something. So it's probably not best to use the control key. However, the alt key is a bit more flexible for letters. There are lots of functions on the alt key as well. 
sometimes you have to do a, a combination of key commands. So let's have a look at what else we can do through here. Now, one of the things I also like to do is head in styles. Now, if you come down this list, there's quite a lot of options here. But when you get right down, you've got styles. So there's macros and then you've got styles and there's your heading. So heading two, I use that a lot and I've actually allocated that as alt plus two. So if I want to use that, I can and heading one is alt plus one would leave it or not. And then heading three, I haven't allocated, but I will do. I'll do alt three. It's unassigned, so I can assign that. Now, if I close that down and just have a look at that. So if I get myself some text, if I go equals rand, open and close bracket and press enter to get myself some text. Now, if I get myself in this and try Alt B first off, that puts borders around, that's good. Now, if I come down and make a space so I can get a title, um, let's say Thomas is a title, so I'll just come down. I want that to be heading style two. Now, I've usually customized these headings already, but let me just try this. It's Alt 2, makes that a heading style. You can see that with a little triangle there, and, and it hides all the details underneath it. So if I do Alt 1, that'll be heading style 1. If I highlight that again, Alt 1, and then Alt 3, heading style 3. Alt 2, heading style 2. So whatever you find yourself doing or stopping doing, you go up here with your mouse to click on something if it hasn't got a key command. You can go into Customize Ribbon and Shortcuts and allocate a key command to make that process quicker. So for example, Superscript, you see the key command that's allocated there, Control, Shift and Plus, Plus. That's too much for me. I'd be using the alt key, maybe in something else if I wanted to do that. Likewise with that one. So it's it's um, it's totally up to you, but some of them are quite long winded. And when you're on a laptop, that's quite awkward sometimes. But that's all I want to talk about in this little video, how you can create your own shortcut keys in Word. So thanks for your time and I'll catch you on the next one.